before I walked into court. That judge decided that every single defense President Trump had, we were not allowed to raise in front of the jury. It is in writing, and I encourage the journalists, the real journalists, to take the minute to look at his orders. There was no proof. And I couldn't prove that she didn't bring in the dress. There was no DNA. There was no expert. My experts were denied. Two of them, two of them were denied to come in. They didn't bring, let me bring up that Reed Hoffman funded Ms. Kaplan. And you know what we got in there? That my witness, who was her friend, who said that she is a drug addict and the drug addict is herself. That friend I found out in there was paid for by Ms. Kaplan's firm. And that is disgusting. That is a violation of everything I stand for. And that is why I stand with Trump. And that is why so many Americans are so proud that he is running again and so excited to run to the ballot box. But don't get it twisted. We are seeing a violation of our justice system, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen. Alina Haba accuses a judge of bias in handling a case involving former President Donald Trump. She argues that limitations imposed on Trump's legal team jeopardize his right to a fair trial, highlighting concerns about judicial impartiality. The article underscores the broader implications for individual rights and fair legal proceedings, suggesting systemic injustices within the judicial system. Allegations include the suppression of evidence favoring Trump and restrictions on DNA usage in court. The involvement of Roberta Kaplan's firm in compensating a witness raises ethical concerns of potential witness tampering, which could affect the reliability of legal outcomes. The narrative hints at political motivations behind the legal actions against Trump, with his supporters viewing them as attempts to undermine his political standing.